Yes, indeed. Something special planned. Is, is, that, is that fair to say? That's what Hugh's just said. Is it going to be, yeah, one, one for the history books? Absolutely. It's a very special tri-service five-class plan for today with 70 aircraft coming from all over the UK. So we've got aircraft down from Royal, as far as Cornwall for Royal Naval Air Station Caldrose, all the way from Royal Air Force Lossiemouth up in Scotland. Of course, at the coronation, we had this low cloud cover over the city and, and, and it just felt like we didn't quite get the, the icing on the cake or the cherry on top of it. That's essentially what we're seeing today, is that right? Absolutely, a full five plus today, so very much building on the work that was done for the coronation, but an extra few aircraft in there today, so even bigger and even better. Uh, and of all sorts of vintages, we're going back to the Second World War and through? Absolutely, so ranging the oldest aircraft will be the, from the Battle of Britain Memorial Freight and the newest will be our Envoy aircraft. That's um, going to be at the end of the fly pass with the Red Arrows. Uh, you kind of mentioned it, but this, this really is a nationwide thing. It's people from up and down the country and they're, what, they're sitting over the North Sea at the moment? Well, some of them still are. So when the first helicopters fly over the palace, um, the last package will be 60 miles away of Chelmsford. Um, so at the moment, orbiting over the North Sea, first package is going at about 90 knots, the last one at 300. So very much joining together on time, on target when they get over the Buckingham Palace. Um, I mean, we're not meant to have favourites, but is there any little highlight that you might be looking forward to? Well, I think the whole the whole fly pass will be a highlight, but if you ask me personally, uh, that's the Hercules for me. After 56 years of service in the Royal Air Force, and soon to go out of service, this will be its last fly pass, so I'll particularly be looking out for that. Yeah, and a very well-earned one. We've all got pretty happy memories, probably some tough memories of Hercules as well. I mean, what a way to sort of see out the service. Absolutely. I think if you've been in the military and been on operations, then you will have been in or around a Hercules. So I think everyone's got their personal memories of that air, particular aircraft. Uh, how does it feel to you personally being here? I, I know you've never been in person. You've watched it on the television. You know, it, there's nothing quite like seeing it all come together, particularly the fly pass. No, it's absolutely fantastic. Well, it's been extremely privileged to be here today um, as part of my personal tribute to um, our king on his official birthday. Uh, and, I mean, we couldn't have asked for better conditions for it, could we? No, we're really grateful today to be able to do the full flight pass for you and hopefully we'll see the aircraft overhead pretty soon. Wonderful. Well, we cannot wait to see it. Thank you very much, ma'am. Well, that should whet the appetite nicely. And uh, there you have the uh, Royal Standard flying powerfully in the breeze, that enormous standard that is used on special days like today, where Wales and the Princess of Wales and other members of the family appearing on the balcony and greeting the vast crowds below Duke of Edinburgh and the Duchess of Edinburgh. There we have Princess Charlotte there on the left-hand side. So the first five waves of the fly past, which will be enjoyed by the King and Queen and others, will showcase the helicopter capability of the three services, the first five waves.